What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Built Different Podcast. My name is Ricky. Um, you heard the intro. Uh, that's one of my good friends, Lena Jackson, Elemental's Music. So, you know, I want to give him a shout out first and foremost. And also, you can find his information uh, in the link below. Um, so, yeah, we appreciate you guys hopping on and joining us again. Um, being part of this journey that we're uh, we're bringing you guys on. Um, yeah, I was going to rock my uh, Arsenal uh, gear today because, you know, we're top of the league right now, but also still representing the Bucks. Um I, you know, even though we lost yesterday. But enough about me. I wanted to kick it to Raul. And um, Raul, I know you have some questions for us in regards to Extropian and this, this amazing movement that we're building. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, like Ricky said, I'm I'm Raul from Agora Media, and I'm here with Sean, Justin, and the one and only Ricky. Uh, and today, I wanted to talk to you guys about this exciting new brand that that has been forming. Uh, and let's first start off. So what is the brand? What's it called? I'll throw that to, you know, one of the brainchilds of that, uh, you know, the name, um, Sean, would, would uh, tell us what extropian is, what it means to you. And I guess we can kind of all go around and, you know, we all have our thoughts on it. So, yeah, go ahead, Sean, if you don't mind. Yeah, no. So um, extropian is... Extropian um, is a name that we came up with. It's based on a uh, transhumanistic philosophy of just, you know, humans um, using technology and using science and like wanting to like kind of be better and transcend human limits, um, continuously improving. And uh, that's kind of what we want, you know, with the technology that we're developing. Um, We want to help people accomplish that we want to help people be the best version of themselves and uh we want them to you know not have any limits to to be limitless and uh yeah and just like do stuff that you know people maybe told them they couldn't do or that society said like oh you're you're not you're going to be able to do that like we want people to be like no i am able to do that and and hopefully our technology can help them uh help them achieve that. So that's, that's kind of where extropian came from and uh, we like it and we're keeping it. It's ours. <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, there was some, you know, we've obviously gone through um, a period of different names, you know, before even Sean and, uh, and Justin and even before getting to know Raul, I had, you know, I went through a, a series of different names, um, some being pretty stupid some having some some deep meaning but being trademarked and then you know from my standpoint i always wanted something that was a little futuristic and something that was like it tied into the way we wanted to make people feel the way you know a movement we wanted to build um you know from my standpoint of of coming up with you know the idea for this technology and all of us you know putting our 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 two cents in about it um you know we wanted to create something different um, we wanted to create something um, that was going to push humanity forward. Uh, we didn't want to, you know, like Sean said, put any anybody put any limits on themselves. Um, you know, this is technology for the person, like Sean said, that has been told they can't do something. We want to we want to prove through the data that we provide to them and through them using this technology that they can do it. You know, um, until you until you are told you can do it, a lot of times you won't do it. Um, you know, until you say in bolt. Uh, saw, you know, Carl Lewis run this, this amazing, uh, you know, marathon, um, you know, quarter mile. Um, he didn't probably, you know, as a little kid, he didn't think it was possible. As soon as he saw that, he, he knew it was possible. So, you know, our technology is for those, those people that, you know, like, you know, Usain Bolt, that, uh, you know, they need that push. They need that, uh, belief. Um, you know, a lot of people don't have the Carl Lewis to look at to push themselves, you know? Um, and that's that's what we're here for is we're here to provide people with uh, a hope. We're here to provide people with, um, you know, self-belief and overall just make humanity stronger, make it better. Um, you know, when Sean found that that uh, extropian, we had went through a, diff- uh, a series of different names, but, um, you know, <laughs> it had some 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 kind of weird connotations to it. I think it was like a philosophy what Sean in the 90s, 80s, 90s that was developed. 
Um, but these people are a little crazy, uh, in our opinion, you know, talking about freezing your head and, and, uh, you know, regenerating your stuff in the future. And, um, you know, so we're not going that far with it. You know, I think it's such a, you know, a loose term, um, such a loose philosophy that we're able to put our own spin on it, take the, the meaning of it and, and, uh, you know, our idea is to push, uh, push this technology forward, push humanity forward. Um, and, you know, with that came the name and that's, you know, as we said before, it's ours because we, you know, we, uh, trademarked it. And, you know, as of today, I just got an email, Sean, by the way. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, we, we took it around with it. We, you know, we think it means, um, at the end of the day, what we want people to feel and, you know, the movement we want to build and, you know, we want to invite people into the, into this journey, into this, um, into this thought process with us. Let's, you know, um, push humanity forward and, and, and be better, be greater. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And that tells us a little bit about sort of the purpose behind this is uh, on a really, on, on a bigger sense to sort of improve humanity. Um, I, I know that you talked a little bit about uh, all the names that have been, that, uh, you know, have gone through the drawing board and gone through the ideation process, but in addition yeah. to that, this company also has a history going by a different name, right? Sensei. Um, we And I wanted to ask you guys, what might be different from what this company used to be and what this new brand really represents? Yeah, Justin, go ahead, because I feel like I've talked, Sean, so. I would just say, uh, I think that what's different between Extropian and Sensei is I feel mm -hmm. like our we've grown our vision so much. Like from when I first started working with this, uh, with this team, when we were working with Sensei, it was, we were focused on, on revolutionizing combat sports. That was our main goal with this technology. But I feel like as time went on, the more we thought about it, I feel like we started to realize that this technology can help so many people that, that aren't necessarily within the realm of, of, con of uh, combat sports. And so I feel like with this name change, that's us kind of really uh, recognizing that and us really kind of going in that direction of, you know, we want to help combat sports, but we can do so much more with this technology. So I feel like that's what this name kind of represents is kind of like uh, the main difference for us ultimately. Yeah. I, I second everything that Justin said. Um, and yeah, I, I completely agree. I think our, our vision and I think Ricky, um, would agree, but he's always had a big vision for what this could become. But I think we're trying to not only, you know, have a, a vision of the future, we want to start building that right now. We want to build a, a community bigger than just combat sports. We want to build a community of, of people from any, any industry that could use this product. And I, we believe there are a lot of them. Um, so yeah, I think that's the biggest, um, the biggest difference is we kind of wanted to shift away from limiting ourselves. You know, we, we talk about wanting everyone else to be, to be limitless. And yet for, for a little bit there, we're kind of limiting ourselves. Um, so taking off those limits that we put on ourselves to, to be more broad and, and reach out to a bigger audience and build a strong community. Yeah. And I know that, um, I know that we keep teasing this product and, you know, people are like, is this a real thing or whatever, you know, whoever's listened to us so far and whoever will continue to listen to this in the future. But, um, yeah, we, you know, the funny thing is about every, anytime you introduce this, people that I've talked to, or, um, I think in each one of us, when I present it to everybody is that everybody sees a benefit in something that they're interested in. Um, you know, I've had people from swimming to ballet to IndyCar to, you know, military to just all of these different industries because of how unique the technology, the, the product is, um, and how, you know, how flexible it is in terms of just, you know, how you can use it. Um, we're not restrictive, you know, we're, you know, we keep saying limit. We don't want to put a limit on how you use the technology either. So. It's, it's limitless technology all around from you, the way you use it, from what it can provide you, from um, who it can, who can use it. Um, and with that, we needed a name that to fit that, you know, we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves with combat sports. Um, 
obviously, you know, that's a lot of us on this call's first love. Um, me and Justin particularly, we, you know, we have a love for athletes. Justin is, you know, trained himself. I very loosely trained myself as well. And, um, you know, trying to do more of it in the future, but with our technology, but, um, yeah, we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves into to combat sports. You know, that's our first love, and that's you know an area that I think is really ripe um, and, and for change, and that needs technology to you know help these fighters become better. Um, because you know, more than any other sport, these guys and girl, girls get paid for performance. You're only as, as good as your last performance. If you don't make it to the ring because you're not healthy enough, or that you, you get injured, you know, you uh, that's, you know you're not helping you or your family or setting yourself up for the future. So at the end of the day, that's our goal is to improve these athletes and, you know, their long term, their long term uh, outlook on life and their financial stability. And, um, you know, ultimately, as a fan as well, I want to see the best fights. We all do. You know, we all, you know, we, we watch certain fights and you see fighters that aren't performing up to their best. And it's just like, damn, you know, he or he is just like they're not on it tonight. And you start to look back and you start to wonder what happened during their training camp. Do they even know? You know, a lot of them say, I just felt flat, but. You know, you felt flat, but maybe there's 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 reasons behind that that we're able to identify and that we can help you with. And um, you know, that that's where combat sports comes in. But speaking on what uh, you know, Justin and, and Sean both said, it's like, um, you know, this it, it's broad, it's open. Um, this is for everybody, and that's why we invite everybody into this this uh this space. You know, technologists, people that are into technology, um, people that are into sports, people that are you know. Uh, motivated by sports or athletes um people that just you know like to talk sports in general this is you know for everybody and we wanted a name that was for everybody so um you know it's a we're a humanity based company and a, a mind you know kind of like a mindset uh based company and improving your mindset improving your abilities uh through through data through technology and um you know pushing the limits that we have as sean mentioned that's that's the goal at the end of the day and the name befits it yeah, absolutely. And people sort of improving through technology, that, that's really at the core of what this brand is. Um, and, and Sean, that, that sort of leads me to maybe a question that I have more for you. In terms of what we've redefined it to be, what is an extropian? Yeah, that's a great question, Raul. Um, so really, I mean, an extropian... Um, and our like obviously our name is extropian but like almost like our people who who are with us who are a part of our community who are using our technology we believe all of them like the name that we want to call them is extropians they are extropians now um they're people who want to want to be better people who want to improve um and it doesn't have to be you know obviously we've mentioned a lot of high profile extropians you know like a and like, a, you know, Ricky said Usain Bolt earlier. He's, you know, he's someone who constantly wanted to improve, constantly wanted to push the limits. And everyone knows who he is. But you don't have to be a super athlete or, you know, some crazy person to, to be a part of this community, to be, a, to be an extropian. An extropian is anyone who feels like they can use technology um, to, to be better and or to to just improve themselves and um it can be you know it can be an average joe um or it can be you know some high profile person um anyone who just wants to you know like use the innovation and the technology that that we're developing and uh we believe that really anyone can be an extropian you don't have to be someone to be an extropian you just have to you just have to have that drive and that want to improve. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, yeah, Sean was spot on. Like, you know, it's anybody. I mean, you can you can be doing anything, and it's just do you want to better yourself? Do you believe in you know that there's always a way to to, to become better? Um, you know. I think as you you know, as humans, we, you know, there's limits that are put on, upon, we put upon ourselves. There's limits that, you know, even from childhood, our parents put on us. Um, it could be friends, it could be society, it could be our environment. Um, and 
honestly, like, you know, you can push past those limits. There's just different cases of it in diff- everywhere in life. You know what I mean? Um, you know, even with this company, I think we're pushing, you know, we are pushing limits with this technology, you know, and I always go back to that story. I was telling Raul in one of our other podcasts, make sure I check all of our podcasts, by the way, um, where somebody put a limit on me and, you know, it was a FU moment to that guy. It was a FU moment to anybody else that told me I couldn't do it. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, this is for people that feel that same way because everybody has these limits put on them. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, that's what we want to get across to people is like this, you know, where this technology, that's your FU moment to the people and even to yourself that didn't believe that you could do something. It's, it's, uh, you know, it, there's always a way to make it happen. And, um, you know, we're there to provide that visual for you and that, um, user experience for you to, to feel that and to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And speaking of visual, We've talked a lot about what the brand means and, and what it sort of represents and what it stands for. Um, now, for, for the people that are watching at home, uh, we're going to kind of throw up the logo so you can see uh, what this brand is starting to look like. And I wanted to ask you guys, uh, in terms of the look, the feel of Extropian, what sort of inspired the name? What is inspired the the idea behind extropian at least visually speaking so yeah um john i'll kind of let you have the 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 brain and well i'm not saying you're the brains of the operation but i'm just saying i'll let you have the brain for this uh conversation just joke (laughs) first yeah first um starting off with just like the the name the look of the name itself you know we wanted something that looks you know, we we want to be a futuristic technology company. You know, like we don't want. We to are be... a futuristic technology company. What? <laughs> we are a futuristic we, yeah. technology company. Yes, that is right. We are a futuristic technology company. <laughs> um, and we want you know, when someone sees our name, when someone sees Extropian, we want them to feel that. I think the name itself does a very good job of feeling futuristic. So we wanted it to also have the same look. We want the look and the feel to be the same. And the look of the name now looks like, like, wow, that, that kind of looks like it's, you know, from the future. And, and that's exactly how we wanted it to, uh, to, to feel when people saw it. And, um, as far as the, the brain logo, that's, um, Ricky can get further into it, but that's something that, um, we actually kept from the, from the old, uh, the old uh, Sensei uh, brand was because we really like it. We want, you know, like we want our technology to, you know, help elevate your thinking, help elevate your your mindset. And the brain, that that's what the brain is. The brain is your is your ability to think, your mindset. It also has intricate little details to it that people wouldn't see. Like technically, the square that goes around the brain doesn't all the way close around it. And a little piece of the brain is, is peeking out of the square. That's kind of like our way of saying, like, maybe you're thinking outside the box a little bit. You know, you're not encapsulated in this in this small little box of thinking. Um, and I we also kind of wanted – oh, go ahead. No, I just said I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, and then just the brain itself. You know, obviously brains, when you see them, they're actually, like, kind of squishy and stuff. We wanted it to look more, you know – um kind of the same thing futuristic like kind of give that representation of like straight lines sharp turns like kind of the way that you know people think of data people think of data as very um you know streamlined streamlined rational like logical things and we kind of wanted the brain to kind of give that vibe to it of like this is going to give you very streamlined data that you'll be able to take and improve yourself with yeah, and I think from a even, you know, as we said, it's not just for athletes, but I think from an athletic standpoint, gold always means the top. Gold always means you reach the peak. So, you know, having, you know, this gold brain and, uh, you know, I love the part that Sean mentioned because I probably would have forgotten it too is the, you know, part of the brain sticking outside the box. Yeah, like we don't, our technology is very outside of the box. Um, 
you know, our thinking and putting the technology uh, together is outside the box. Um, so we wanted that gold brain to, you know, be like you're reaching the pinnacle, you're reaching the summit. Um, but you're also thinking outside of that box. Um, Sean touched on also the name. I mean, yeah, we wanted something that felt futuristic, something that felt out there, something that people would, you know, maybe question, like, what does that mean? You know, um, it had its, it, like I said before, it had its kind of definition. It had a premise already. But, you know, much like our technology, we were redefining that uh, that meaning of extropian to a degree. Um, but, yeah, it's, you know, we love it. Um you know, names change, like not names change because I don't think we're going to change our name again. We're very much stuck to this name, but you know, logos change, but you know, the brain is stuck with us throughout this whole process. Um, and you know, like I said before, we've had a various different names. We've had a couple of iterations, different iterations of logos. Um, but we feel very strongly about this one and this one, you know, when we all identified this name and Sean, you know, mentioned it and we all kind of, talked about it we were just like yeah you know this this is it so um it just gave us the feel that we wanted it opened us up to all of these different avenues of providing this technology to people um that became you know become extropians or are extropians in our opinion um to use this technology and push this movement forward and um yeah we just like I said, it's just we want the you know we want to pro- build a better world through our technology essentially um, and also too, you know, uh, we, me personally, I'm speaking for myself here and, um, anybody else can chime in. I don't think, you know, technology is not that cool. I think the name is cool. We're a cool company. As you can see, we're cool guys all on this call. Um, you know, we, we wanted something that was cool, something that was unique, something that was futuristic. All of these things, I think, blend in to make that name and, um, they're who we are. It's who we are at this point, you know, so. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, uh, that's awesome. And, you know, uh, despite it all, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that you guys are, are, are uh, sort of loving this branding, loving this change. But I do want to ask, uh, this process, has it been difficult? Have there been challenges? And has it been worth it? As far as the name? Or yeah, are you talking in general? As, as far as changing the name? Uh, and and sort of the the challenges that come with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Raul, you can you can chime in here too because you've been a part of this. Um, you know, as you know, helping us with the branding and marketing, and you know, we appreciate you and and Adrian, who's not on this call. Um, and the, you know, there's a couple other people um, not involved also on this call that you know had a say in the name. Um, but yeah, it was, it was difficult. Um, one, because, you know, Sensei grew on us. It was like who we were at that time. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you, you're, you know, you're a teenager and you're kind of, you want to be, you want to be this rebel or maybe you, you, you know, you want to be a rapper or, you know, you want to be a, you know, a, a activist or whatever, you know, you have this kind of stigma about you, but I feel like this new name gives us a new stigma. It gave us new energy. Um, it gave us, you know, kind of a new direction. It, it, it reinforced our purpose. It made it stronger. Um, and yeah, it was difficult to identify a name because we, you know, part of coming out with a name is you, you want it to fit a feeling. You want it to fit a feeling that you want other people to have. You want it to, you know, to look a certain way. Cause, you know, even as crazy as it sounds, like writing out a name and seeing a, seeing a name on paper or on a website. It, you have a feeling when you first see it. You ha- it, it evokes an emotion. Um, so we wanted to make sure that that the right emotion came across with it. Um, we didn't want it to pigeonhole us, like we said before. So yeah, it was very difficult, and especially when you go through the you know. And I'll let Sean speak more to this because he did <laughs> a lot of the the grueling uh, searches, and um, you know, Justin did a lot of the you know coming up with different names as well. But, you know, the trademarking process is difficult because, you know, there's so many companies out there, so many trademark houses out there that create things that they never use that they want to end up selling people. So, um, yeah, from that standpoint, it was difficult. Um, but, you know, just even just thinking of the name and, and finding something that feels right is the hardest part. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. When it comes to sort of finding our audience, I think that was a big thing, too. Um just to you guys' earlier points, 
Extropian really has been about opening up our community to anyone who can go above and beyond with technology. So that's, yeah, that's I, a bigger I audience to make for sure. sure. Uh, I want to make sure Sean and, and Justin didn't have anything they want to say about that. I feel like I hogged up all the time. <laughs> um, oh, Justin, were you going to say something? Sorry. I was just going to, I would just say like, yeah, like it was quite a process, like changing our name and stuff. We had, I feel like we had like a hundred different names we were considering and we would get so excited for a name and then we'd find out it's trademarked and we get bummed out <laughs> and then we'd have to start all over. <laughs> but uh, no, I feel like we, we found like a, like a, you know, found something really good. We found the diamond in the rough and I'm glad it wasn't trademarked and I feel like it honestly kind of defines what we're doing better than better than Sensei did, better than advancing technologies. I feel like this is kind of who we are, and I'm really glad that, you know, we, we got into this position. Yeah, and I mean, from the, you know, from the challenges perspective, definitely a lot of challenges. Um, Justin and, and Ricky can back me up here that, you know, when, even once we decided on the name, the, choosing the name was almost the easy well, I mean, maybe not for us the easy part because we had so many things we were looking at. But, you know, after that, we then had to go back and say, okay, all of these different, you know, documents that we put together are all, like, written this way. Do we need to re- like, re- kind of, like, not only rebranding from the sense of what you guys see as, you know, as fans and as, like, followers of us, but then like even internal stuff, we need to make sure that everything's lined up, that we're all on the same page, that we all, um, you know, and I, I still catch myself saying the wrong name from time to time, just out of habit. It's like, oh, and it's like, no, new name. Got to, you know, keep it, keep it focused. Um, and then, yeah, from the, from the legal side, there was definitely a lot of challenges there. Um, the trademark situation was, was tough. Like Ricky said, there's a lot of different things that are trademarked. Um, I learned a lot about trademarks from this process, uh, probably more than I ever need to know, but it's not a bad thing to know more information. Um, but yeah, no, and I think ultimately, you know, there was a lot of challenges and it was tough, uh, but I would say it's, it was worth it. You know, it, it's important to have a name and, you know, a movement that matches what you want to do. And like Justin said, this matches what we are wanting to do and what we are doing better than our previous name did, even though we were pretty happy with that name when we had it. So it was kind of a blessing yeah. in disguise. And, you know, kind of a funny side to all of it through like, you know, the frustrating parts was it's funny now. It wasn't back then really, but, um, you know, Sean coming to me, because I was obviously more married to Sensei than probably everybody else was, because I kind of came up with it, and Sean was, you know, kind of young in the company at that point. Um, but yeah, Sean would come to me and say, I think we should look at, uh, you know, find, like, making sure that we can trademark this. And, you know, I had reached out to my attorney, and, you know, we kind of went through the process, but I was dragging my feet because I was so tied to the name. Um, and, you know, every time Sean would bring it up, I would kind of gripe. He, he knows, like, I was kind of like, I would just be like, ah, you know. He, he, and, did not, um, he did not want to talk about it. Nah, I want, you know, I knew, I knew it was eventually a decision that had to be made. And, you know, one thing I've learned through this process is, is making those decisions a lot faster. Um, but, you know, I think it happened at the right time also. Um, a lot of things came together with the company and with our thought process. So it's like when we decided to make that move, a lot of things revealed themselves to us that um, made it easier to, to make it happen. And it made sense for us at that time. And, um, you know, we did, you know, the beauty of everything that we're doing, and, and this is probably something I'll speak on more, like when I do my own personal podcast, um, is – it's great to learn, you know what I mean? Like, Sean, you know, something you never thought you'd be doing coming out of school or, like, even a couple of weeks ago is something that you ended up doing, you know what I mean? Um, and Justin does the same all the time, things he never thought he'd be doing. He found He's finding himself doing every day. We all are, but it's it's part of learning and growing, and it makes you appreciate the process. It makes you appreciate um, 
other companies that you see with their trademark, you know what they had to go through for it. And um, yeah, it just, you know, you grow as a person. It's cool to know things. And uh, one of the coolest things um, is, you know, friends eventually coming to you and saying, hey, I'm, I'm trying to trademark something and you telling them, you know, the steps in the process how to do it. So all in all, like it, it you know, there was a the frustration of doing it and, and, you know, finding out about it and learning it. And but there's also the, the growth that comes with it, which is, you know, the beauty in life is growing and learning and, and you know, doing things that you never thought you would do and, and being efficient at it. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, and that sort of change, I think, is is what Extropian is really all about. Um, but before we uh, call it an episode, I do want to ask, um, do you guys have any final thoughts about the Extropian brand and sort of what it means and what's what's the future of what the future of it holds? Like our technology, the future's uh, limitless. We don't, you know, we're not, we're not putting a ceiling or a floor on this thing. It's gonna, we're just gonna grow it out. We're gonna, you know, bring it to to the masses. And obviously, you know, part of this podcast is wanting people to to be on that journey with us. You know, I've, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit of a technology nerd. I love tech, different technologies. I follow companies. I like, I like seeing what their, you know, different uh, leaders are doing. But one of the things that you never get from them is the is the journey. You know what I mean? Like I would love to see what they, you know, what a day to day looks like. I would love to see how they got from um, A to B to you know all the way to C and D and some of them to Z. Um, and that's what we're we're trying to do um, with this podcast. So, um, you know, Atropian, we want it to be. You know, it's a movement. It's a thought. It's a it's a thought process, really. Um, it's a, a belief, it's a feeling. Um, and we want that to come across to everybody that listens to this podcast and, and we want it to resonate with people and for people to to get excited about what we're doing and um, get excited about the future. And um, if you know you're that uh, teenage guy or girl or, um, you know, that's thinking of getting into a sport or doing, you know, just doing anything, um, you know, we want to give give you hope. We want you to, you know, to follow us and be a part of this movement. Be, you know, uh, you know, jump in the comment section, be a part of the conversation, and, and um, you know, just know that somebody has your back and that um, we're building something incredible that you're going to be able to use. That you know, maybe your coaches are telling you you can't do something, or your parents have told you you can't do something, or you know, it could be an adult. Maybe your wife or your husband is not telling you you can't do something, but we want to bring that belief to life in people um, that we, you know, you can see it visually on, you know, your phone or on a tablet or on a computer that damn, I am an awesome human being and I can, I can do these things that people are telling me I can't do. And that I've told myself I can't do. And uh, that's, you know, what an extropian is. And that's what we want to get across via this name, via this podcast, via our technology. Um, yeah. We're, we're just, we're future proofing uh humanity and it's and it's belief and our belief in ourselves essentially. Thank yeah, my, you so uh, much, Ricky. My final thought would just be that, you know, um yeah, Extropian, uh, you know, you're you heard about it on this call. This won't be the last time you you're hearing about it. We're gonna talk about it a lot more. Um and we're gonna continue to keep you guys updated and like Ricky said, bring you guys bring everyone along. Uh for the journey and and we want people to see you know more than just the final product that we put out whenever that is um, we want you to see the you know some of the challenges that we go through some of the you know some of the pieces that it takes to get from you know spot a to spot z you know um and and yeah we uh we like talking about it we like sharing you know what we've been through and sharing what it takes and uh hopefully you know it can also be a moment of in inspiration you know from a uh entrepreneurial standpoint i know all all the all of us on this call are big fans of innovation and you know uh just seeing you know people come up with new things or new ways of doing things and uh if our company can be a part of that thing that's inspiring people to to do crazy things uh, that'll help build the future, then then we did our job better than we even like could have, you know. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Not sure, Justin. Did you wanna, Justin? You wanna say anything, or you you good to go? No, I was just saying, like, yeah. It's so far, I mean, like, it's it's been cool to see like the community already start to grow and like be receptive to our our new name and new branding and things like that. It's, it's cool to see like people embrace it, and especially you know, me and Ricky have gone out to you know gyms and stuff like that, and we've kind of introduced our product to them and stuff, and you know, the just get the reaction that we get is like amazement, and they're all very excited and. It just it feels like it's it's cool to see everything slowly come together and slowly see like the excitement just build and build and uh, I'm just excited for everyone to see what we have in store. I think you know it's going to be a busy year or so. So. Well, definitely. Awesome, awesome. No, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And in terms of what's in store, we'll definitely keep you updated uh, with these podcasts uh, and on our social channels. Um, Ricky, if you want to send us off, um, I think I think we uh, we're wrapping up. Yeah, I mean this this call this uh, podcast is for the dreamers, you know what I mean, and that's who we're inviting in. And Sean touched on it as well, entrepreneurs, and you know being a source of inspiration, hopefully for people, because you know we're to build different podcasts. We, you know we're, we're we are building something that's different. We ourselves are you know different than you know the stereotypical people that build technology in, in a good way and um yeah with that being said you know uh, we thank you guys for being a part of this and listening you know um we want this community to grow we invite you in you know any thoughts any feedback you guys have just share it in the comment sections of wherever this is posted and yeah man um we're just here to have great conversations and, and meet cool people and build some some ridiculously crazy tech so um yeah with that being said um for Justin, for Raul, for Sean, and myself, Ricky. Um, you know, thanks for joining the Build Different Podcast. And we thank you guys, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell uh, for notifications on new episodes uh, every time that we upload. Next week, we're going to be talking about redefining what's possible and what that means. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys.